Hi guys, welcome to this review about the Sapori Harmony LT2 that's a bike shock absorber in the listing it is called a bicycle or bike suspension seat post so yeah especially for people who do, do not have full suspension i think this could be helpful a lot of people decide to have only front suspension because of the price if you go with a full suspension I mean you easily go up to double price except you go with a Walmart brand but if you go with a really good thing I mean good quality in a bike shop then you have to at least face maybe 1500 bucks and if you go just with front suspension you get a nice bike for maybe six seven eight hundred bucks and uh, yeah this is what I did but Finally, I yeah, I mean when you get older you want to have a little bit more comfort and so I decided to add the suspension at least to the seat and not to the whole uh, bike. So I will show you how I replace that and how I use it and how the comfort is and what will be also interesting how much the suspension like the way is the way which is really use, usable I mean yeah it depends on the white and on the settings I have heard there are different kind of these Satori Harmony but I haven't found out what it is I guess it is a medium I think there is something for low weight and for extra heavy weight and so they sell probably the medium just on amazon and don't write anything about that and yeah i'm about 74 kilograms don't know at the moment what is in pound but you can calculate with google to find out what it is and it will tell you what it is if it's too heavy or yet i mean if I'm too heavy or too on the weight for this thing. So what you have to do at the beginning, you have to measure your old seat post, like where it is in the bike, the part, this is the part which is in the bike and you have to, I mean, of course, with the original one, not with the plastic. So with this vernier caliper, you will find out what's the diameter of this thing. So in my case, I measured a little bit more than 30.78 around that. Or yeah, I was checking uh, what it could be. That's a problem. I mean, I have found this listing with 30.9 millimeters and I was really close to that, but I was not sure. I mean, could have been maybe 30.5, 30.6, 30.7. As far as I have seen, there is not everything available, but there are certain sizes or diameters available like 30.4 or you will find out uh, when you see the listings so make sure that you have an absolutely precise measure measurement with this tool or even better ask where you have bought your bike ask the seller or ask the manufacturer with my bike I have been contacting the manufacturer it's manufacturer based in US I wrote them an email they sent me all the measurements back and so I was sure that this one should fit so let's go to the bike and see so here we are it's not a perfect situation I'm in the garage it's very hot and humid not much space so I'm trying to do that still here again to show you what you have to measure so this thing here take it away and then watch what it says so you can probably see that it is yeah really close to 31 i mean this 30.9 in the center yeah that's a really good reading 
So let's go back and take this out. So usually this should be pretty easy. Let's see how this works here. Yeah, it wasn't too difficult. Uh, but the problem is of course now I have to change the saddle there or just one or two screws yeah one here and one here and of course I have to remove this reflector and the light as well so here we can see both of them side by side I think it's wrong angle but you can see they are pretty much same same lengths uh, yeah for some reason I didn't check the lengths but it looks like the length is the same and diameter looks like really uh, yeah at least pretty much the same here the saddle holder is a little bit different but it shouldn't be a problem that has to go a little bit lower of course but I think there's still enough space to attach everything so here we have the instructions it comes in German and English if you like that I mean for me it's an advantage I'll probably go with the German at least for me here I'm yeah recording the English thing for you so you get an impression if you want to have more information about that or if you have already bought it and need you need it as a reference because there's an adjustment like preload adjustment looks like it is maybe they have improved they have not different weight or like different type for different weight but they have the same and you can adjust it that's a good thing okay here I have everything so now I will change the saddle to this I mean it's not difficult you need this kind of I don't know what's that called torques or whatsoever shouldn't be a problem to switch that So that was pretty easy uh, to remove the saddle from the old post now to attach it here there was really nothing special had even the same screws was pretty easy and it looks like it has a really tight fit I can't see any problems so far the thing is it there was some oil and grease underneath I'm not sure if it was here probably it was on the old post so it like ruined my t-shirt so make sure that you clean it or your old things before you do that don't uh, do the same mistake as me now I ruined my favorite t-shirt with that so I think there was a lot of grease here underneath as well so I removed that now but it's too late anyway so um, the thing is what I have found in these instructions it says there is like a screw which you can adjust from the side if it has some side play so it shouldn't be necessary from the beginning but maybe after some time when it gets a little bit of side play so you can tighten it a little bit but do, do not over tighten that's important but the thing is 
I haven't actually found that. I mean, it looks like it's supposed to be here. Maybe the sticker is on top of it. And I can only use it if I remove that. But when I press on top, it doesn't feel like there would be a screw. Maybe so this one hasn't this. So if you go down the hallway, uh, yeah, it definitely looks there is nothing like that. I will have to ask the manufacturer why this doesn't fit. I mean, the, the instructions don't fit the uh, saddle post. The other thing is the other screw which you can adjust is at the bottom, very bottom. Tighten the preload adjustment screw from the bottom with clockwise or loosen with counterclockwise to adjust tension. But you have to make sure that you do not over loosen. If you over loosen, I mean, it should not go beyond the post's end. You have to remain inside the post with this screw. So you can uh, obviously do this thing here. I mean, yeah, it needs an another uh, size of Allen wrench, but looks like you can adjust this here but make sure it doesn't go beyond the post so should be at least flash or inside the post whatever you do so it looks like uh, when it comes here it is at the weakest position if I have to if you want to have it tighter I have to screw it in so that's good I think I'm not too heavy actually I think it will be good on the weak side so for me it looks good I just attach now the light and yeah I have to do that of course here but apart from that I will now after that go to the bike and see how I can attach that yeah so we are now at the bike and now we try to insert it back yeah very easy Unfortunately, I cannot remember what height we had, so I secure this somewhere here, and yeah, looks like it is secured. Can't push it down, so this is also the lights, the reflector. We have everything here in place. Uh, yeah, I mean, it. I can't see big difference to before so that's good it doesn't look like silly or bad or whatsoever probably nobody would ever s notice that I have changed that and so I will now go out and see how this works and I try to make somehow footage uh, won't be really easy but maybe I can show you something and I will definitely let you know what I feel, if I can feel a difference. It will be hard also to tell how much it uh, yeah, was using, how much way, how much play it had here. But I will try to give you at least some kind of verbal information. Maybe I'll find a way to give, make you some video footage about that I mean I have the GoPro here but it will be hard to point it down and I cannot I cannot attach it here so it will be difficult with the footage but I'll try my very best but at least we can definitely say just by pressing down it it is moving And I was not sitting on my bike, so it was maybe 20 kilograms or something which I have been pushing down 20 or 30 and it was already moving quite a lot, so that looks promising. So I turned around the GoPro and did a little bit of digital zoom and I think now you can really see how this works. I mean it's just a normal curb. On this side it's a little bit less but you can still see it's moving that's the hard side and the return is a little bit more soft but still you can see it does quite something to reduce the 
push which you get on every of such bump I mean it won't kill you but over time if you do this for hours maybe the whole day you would definitely feel a huge difference compared to before for sure so I'm back now after a short test drive with some short first impressions. I mean it looks like definitely it is stable and it works. So it looks like it's not cheap or something like that. I mean definitely not dirt cheap. It, it seems to really work. I didn't have the impression that it's just a toy. Uh, here what's interesting to see, I hope you can see when I focus, uh, I mean, go a little bit close when I zoom in, you can see here we see some of the grease and oil and at the highest it goes up. I mean, I've been measuring that. That's about 25 millimeters of travel, which it has been using and it says maximum travel is about 40 millimeters so it looks like uh, yeah I'm just using a part of that and I would have to make it a little bit weaker here but I'm at the lowest point I cannot make it weaker otherwise it would go out of the post I mean it depends a little bit of what you hit I mean I've hit the curb really hard and it's hard to improve to imagine that I will hit something harder than that so it looks like I mean with my weight of about eight, uh, 74 kilograms or 163 pounds I'm able to use 25 millimeters of this 40 millimeters and if you are lighter than me it will be less maybe you will use then only 20 or 15 millimeters if you're heavier then you shouldn't have a problem to use the maximum range but um, I think yeah I'm not far away from the optimum I mean there could be harder bumps than that not much I mean it has been really tough and yeah I would if I could I would make it a little bit weaker so to use maybe 30 or 35 millimeters with these heavy bumps so I will have or I would have like 5 millimeters left for like uh, as a security gap for any kind of harder bump so I don't hit fully down which is probably not good and but I mean 25 out of 40 maybe with an even harder bump I will get maybe to 30 millimeters which is 75% of these 40 millimeters of travel which is possible so uh, yeah so good with that I mean as you can see it is a little bit greasy oily you have to be careful that you don't hit uh, this with uh, nice clothes or so like always but I'm not doing any cleaning at the moment I leave it like that maybe after that I will try to a little bit of cleaning but not too much I want to have it of course uh, nicely lubricated what I have found what's really important I haven't noticed that you have to also adjust the angle I didn't adjust the angle of the seat post I mean or the seat so or the saddle itself you I mean now it's pointing down so I have the saddle yeah it's hard to see with the camera it goes down I mean my original saddle was pointing a little bit upwards now it's pointing down so I will have to loosen again these screws and adjust the angle and uh, yeah we'll see if this really works so in the meantime I've been losing these screws and now you can see what kind of ang like range what we have. So we can adjust the angle here of the post between here and here. That's about the angle and I hope with something like that it will do, it will be perfect for me. But I think it should fit for most of the bikes with that really wide range 
So when we compare the angle of this saddle now to the ones which came from the uh, factory, you can see them, they are all the same bikes. You can see that's pretty much the same and I'm not even at the end of the possibility so I could do it even higher at the front if I liked before I had it further down so it was absolutely no problem to adjust it to a level which is really similar to the one which uh, where I got it from the manufacturing so let's come to an end like a final conclusion what's the bottom line and here we have a review from a guy from about two years ago from Amazon and he really uh, matched absolutely 100% what I was feeling but he looks like he's a tech savvy guy and he was way better able to express that so I'm just reading that and commenting a little bit so the title says no damping causes rider to bounce after hitting a bump but otherwise decent seat post yeah I see that as same in detail he says this seat post may launch you out of the seat if you if the bump is big enough and if you are riding fast enough so that's exactly what you see on the right top and the thing what I have been testing right after that let's say if you are going down a ramp like steep ramp with high speed and it has these bumps I was uh, absolutely exactly feeling these things and the reason is exactly what he is writing it has no damping i mean it has this spring which uh, absorbs the shock but it would need actually a uh, damping to eliminate the counter bump or the launch or whatsoever you see this with old cars maybe 40 years old cars sometimes they experience similar things so but I mean it's $29 I'm not complaining about that it is as it is and of course it's not only with this manufacturer if you buy anything below $50 it won't have any damping at all if you buy I mean you can see there are listings above 100 some are even 200 300 maybe you will find damping I haven't found anything in the description and I'm not sure about that maybe you'll find something but I don't know if it's really worth it it's a really rare situation if you uh, when you have a bad experience and he continues saying however this issue does not occur if you hit a pothole since you will have uh, since you just fall into the hole and the suspension compresses absolutely and he continues I weighed 160 pounds and I have the pre load on zero same as with me but still feel that the compression is a bit harsh yeah exactly perhaps it would be better if I put a spring with a smaller K constant uh, in there if it's possible yeah it would be a definitely good thing and then some other important things obviously this post will not be as plush as a full suspension bike but it is definitely better than a rigid po seat post and it does not induce any pedal bob yeah that's a thing which you can have or you can experience with a full suspension you have to read this just google for pedal bob that's something you can experience with full suspension so this is definitely a plus compared to that and you even save a lot of money it works best over uneven terrain with like old roads with cracks bumps and holes of around two inches in height yeah i can definitely confirm that you will need to get off the seat for the larger one so yeah at least slower i mean it's a good thing and it helps it is not a uh, like progressive suspension like really expensive bikes have it has no damping but it is 29 dollars so if you want to save money and still get a decent 
improvement compared to your original seat post i can highly recommend that i mean it's definitely not a toy it is quite stable and it looks like it will last for quite some time i don't see any weak parts or something like that and so that's it for now uh, i will definitely put down the link to this listing on amazon into the description so you can look it up maybe find more information or order it right away from there and i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time